but that, that was my dream. I wanted to play sports in college, you know? So my guidance counselor says to me, probably my sophomore, junior year, it probably was my junior year. Um, you're, you're not going to be going to college. Like your Mm. grades are not that good. Um, so I think you should kind of get that out of your head. And I remember being like, excuse me, like, who are you? Like why? And so I was that kid that didn't take it as there's something wrong with me. I was like, well, now I'm going to show you, I'm going to go to college and I can't wait till I get in. Um, I was being recruited. I got letters from Harvard. Um, I mean, it was crazy, but then, you know, you have to send your transcript in. And I was like, I'm not sending my transcript to Harvard. (laughs) They're going to be like, something happens here. So again, it was that tie of like, oh my gosh, I can play sports at this level, but I can't because, and at at this point in my life, I probably would say that I did not think I was very smart. Yeah. You know, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. I didn't look at like that. I learned different. I just learned, uh, like, I kind of thought, okay, you're really not that smart. You're smart in some things like street smarts. You could send me to New York city. I could figure it out how to get home. I could talk to people like no one else. I could build relationships. But when it came to traditional school, I I was not good at it. Yeah. Um, and so it was one of those stories that you just kind of tell yourself, I wasn't creative and I wasn't good in school. Um, but I was really good at these other things. So I had a, a, a really good self-esteem. I have to say, like my parents were really good at, at showing these are your strengths. Let's like work on that. And then again, the accolades I was getting on the sports field, you know, we won state champions pretty much every year. Uh, I started as, I, I want to say like, I was playing a lot. I don't know if I started as a sophomore, but I was playing a lot. That was kind of unheard of. Um, I was getting all, you know, all County, all state. So like I was getting these things in the athletic world that were really great. I was getting recruiting letters, letters from Harvard, um, you know, so those kind of things, but then again, it was like, okay, I need to have this sort of grade point average. So that's what yeah. my guidance counselor would tell me time and time again, you don't have this, your SATs, like your SATs are not there. I was a terrible, terrible test taker. And so I was able to take to the SATs untimed. And, um, I'll never forget. There was one time I was sitting kind of like headphones like these in, in a room that all these people came funneling in and they're like, what are you doing? I was like taking the SATs. They're reading it to me. I'm trying to get, I had to get a certain score to be able to go division one, because at yeah. this time university of Maryland was recruiting me for lacrosse and, um, I couldn't get my SATs Mm. to that store. I probably took it and I'm going to exaggerate here, but I felt like I took it 33 times Mm -hmm. and it constantly was just shy of that, that score, or it was like way under. And it was the first time I took it, I did the best. And then every time it just kept getting worse and worse. So when it was untimed, I would change my question. You know, it was just what it was read to me. I got distracted. It just, it was a bit of a show. I mean, really that's kind of what it was. Um, and I'll never forget where it was like, okay, you're, you're not going to go to New York City, Maryland. And I was, I had to change my tune because I knew I still wanted to go to school. So I ended up going to, um, it's called Rowan university it used to be Glassboro state. Funny enough, my mom went there. It was in New Jersey division three. And I had a great, I, I mean, I really had such a great time in college and it was really one of those things. And this is where stories and kind of situations happen would I have stayed in school if I went to university, university of Maryland? Um, I don't know. I don't know that I would have persevered and stayed because I know my first year I was like, what am I doing? This is insane. 